Did you know that? There are approximately 600 ingredients in a single cigarette. When burned, cigarettes create more than 7,000 chemicals. Here are a few chemicals that are found in cigarettes. And at least 69 of these chemicals are known to cause cancer and many are toxic. Lung cancer occurs when the normal cells in your lung change or mutate. They grow uncontrollably and clump together to form a tumor. This change occurs when the normal lung cells are exposed to dangerous chemicals. Lung cancer can occur in three steps. Hyperplasia, dysplasia and finally the formation of tumorigenic tissue. Hyperplasia is the increased cell production in normal tissue or organs. It can be a sign of abnormal or precancerous changes. Dysplasia is a broad term that refers to the abnormal development of cells within tissues or organs which leads to tumor formation. Unlike normal cells, cancer cells grow without order or control, destroying the healthy lung tissue around them. Cancer can spread through small channels around the lungs called lymph nodes. After this, they get into the bloodstream and reach other organs like the liver, bones, adrenal glands and brain. The lung can cause other health complications such as fluid-filled lungs, shortness of breath, difficulty in swallowing, coughing up of blood, spinal cord compressions and more. If you have asthma, smoking is especially risky because of the damage it does to the lungs. In bronchial asthma, there is excessive secretion of mucus and the airways to the lungs get swollen and narrowed. This is why smoking can cause asthma flare-ups to happen more often. People with bronchial asthma experience breathing difficulty, wheezing and coughing. Now that you know the harmful effects of smoking, try to understand that smoking cigarettes isn't a bad habit but a serious and complicated addiction that makes quitting smoking a big challenge for many smokers. The difficulties of quitting don't end when a person puts down their last cigarette. Cravings can pop up weeks or even months later. And it's not uncommon for ex-smokers to start smoking again within the first three months of quitting. What's important is to let your friend or family member know you are there for the long haul. On this note, I urge you to watch even more detailed videos on the MediMagic app. If you like this video, share it with your loved ones and subscribe to MediMagic.